Puerto Rico continues to shake. For months now, the island has been hit by nonstop earthquakes, the ground constantly moving. And today alone, listen to this, the U.S. Geological Survey reporting 28 small earthquakes. Scientists say because Puerto Rico is wedged between two tectonic plates, there have always been a lot of these small tremors. Yeah, but these recent bigger quakes have changed things and lives are still permanently rattled. Smile. It's a normal Thursday night for the volunteer firefighters of Chairs Capitola. You can smell the fire. <laughs> yeah, I smell like smoke. Back from a call after dropping everything at a moment's notice to rush to the rescue. A brotherhood of do-gooders. No matter where, that good needs to be done. Uh, when I got to Ground Zero, it was more than I expected. It was worse. When we met Edgardo Grajales in January. Uh, 3.9, uh, 16 minutes ago. The Puerto Rico native was just hours from boarding a flight, leading a group of firefighters to his island to help. I had two patients with open heart surgery in different camps, and they're literally outside. There's some baked, and, and then in the, in the chest, you can still see the staples. Grijalva says he saw these people and many others living in makeshift tent cities, too afraid to go indoors. Their camp was literally on the exit of a highway. Many homes and buildings cracked at their core, and the entire island has felt the impact. We went to a small town in Hajuja, in the middle of the island. We saw houses, the pillars breaking, cracking. We know this place well. Dozens of roofs fixed by the Giselle Marie Foundation after Hurricane Maria, helped in part by funds and supplies donated right here in the Big Bend. Now our area providing shelter again. Very happy. That's Tallahassee resident David Medina's dad talking about his house in Hiuya last month. He piso y todo. If he feel Eso and es. see the house moving, the entire house moving completely like from side to side. It survived, but David's parents temporarily escaping what they're calling a never ending natural disaster, they say is worse than Maria. But my dad is saying this is different because Hurricane Maria came and left. This one is here and it's not gone yet. And it might never be. And every single dot that you see here are uh, epicenters of earthquakes between the 1900s and 2015. FAMU geologist Dr. Michael Martinez Colon says his native island is always shaking. Puerto Rico sits in a tectonically active uh, region. So having earthquakes, it's, it's normal. But the big ones a couple months back aren't. The good news, Simple, science suggests local. those will not become the norm. So the, the chances of a bigger magnitude earthquake are, again, are very slim. He points to this U.S. Geological Survey study projecting while smaller quakes will continue, chances of bigger ones lessen significantly. It's rather unlikely. However, for many, the damage is done. Infrastructure compromised. Martinez Cologne says workshops he was to provide for science teachers on the island postponed. So when I called uh, my colleagues on the island to start scheduling um, the workshop for uh, the month of May, they told me that let's reschedule for July because on the southwest side still we have schools that are closed. Once again, Puerto Rico shaken. The new normal, constantly praying for some stability. Okay, Grahalis tells me the Florida State Firefighters Association not only working to assist Puerto Rico on ways to improve their volunteer firefighting services, they've also been active in the Bahamas following Hurricane Dorian. And in January, the Giselle Marie Foundation started sharing some of their roofing supplies with the hard-hit southwest side of Puerto Rico to help rebuild there. So once again, donations from here in the Big Bend are making an impact.